Okay, so this year we've got the first time we've put the robots actually on a vehicle that's carrying a, a swarm through the field. Up until this point, we were only picking on a rail system to simulate how a vehicle would move them. But now the vehicle is actually taking the robots through the field and we're getting close to having a commercially uh, viable product that we're going to get out in the marketplace probably in the next two years. So one of these uh, platforms, when it's fully populated with all 16 uh, robots on it, uh, it will be capable of picking about eight acres or more in a, in a day over a 20-hour pick cycle. So we should be able to cover in a three-day cycle about tw close to 25 acres. So the rule of thumb in strawberries is uh, you need at least one person per acre. So one of these platforms would probably replace somewhere between 25 and 30 uh, people. Replacing uh, people is relative because right now the, the people are leaving and not doing this type of work anymore. We're relying more and more on the guest worker program to, um, to recruit workers and that is going to uh, shrink and uh, go away in the not too distant future as well. So the people that remain in agriculture will have an opportunity to come to work as engineers, as technicians, people that are going to keep these machines running. There'll be maybe less jobs, but there's going to be less people working in agriculture, but there'll be better paying jobs.